As we head into the second weekend in June, efforts to ensure our safety on both water and land are ramping up. Last weekend, the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency and the Tennessee Highway Patrol were cracking down on people boating and driving under the influence. As WSMV's Jordan Bukovac explains today, there have been several arrests already made. One woman who was badly injured in a boating accident says she hopes this makes people think twice about driving a boat while drunk. Between checkpoints in the water and on the road in South Nashville, the TWRA and THP gave out 100 citations. They also arrested nine people for driving and boating under the influence. And unfortunately, boating is still seen as recreational. People do it for fun, and that's great. And so we view it differently. But it's just as dangerous, just as deadly. And it's important that we all understand that it is our responsibility to keep each other safe. Alex Audie from Mothers Against Drunk Driving says it's been nearly 14 years since her life was forever changed. She was hit by a drunk boater while on a jet ski. The boat was headed towards my mom and my brother. He banked to the left and never straightened up. The boat hit me from the side going over 60 miles an hour. Threw me off the jet ski. I landed face down in the water. The boat went up over the jet ski and landed on top of my body. I sustained severe, life-threatening, and lifelong injuries, most of which I will truly never recover from. Audie sustained a traumatic brain injury, broken neck, and lost her right leg. But there is no medical reason I survived, and I'm here for a reason, and I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to figure out what that reason is. But I believe that preventing this from happening to other people is a big part of that. She's warning others about the dangers of driving and operating a boat while intoxicated. We know that summertime is the 100 deadliest days of the year. Memorial Day is the unofficial kickoff of boating season. We know that people are out there and we want people to enjoy the summer. We want people to enjoy the time on the water, but do so in a way that makes sure we all get to go home at night and we all get to go home in one piece. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Draylen Bukovac, WSMV4.